Okay. So the beginning of the process of moving here was deciding to leave my partner. And well, that's a story. Either I'll tell or I won't. Uh, and then um, I had to decide where to live. And I felt like since we'd been together for so long, I wanted to have a completely new life, just totally different. And besides, I don't have a whole lot of money being so-called retired, or I haven't found out what my next part of life is going to be, what my next phase in life. So I started collecting data about places to live, all the states in the U.S. and all the various countries. And I'll show you my spreadsheet because <laughs> it's important to have data. You can't just believe hype that you read or people that are trying to sell you stuff or uh, I've always thought that was a romantic place to live. You know, that's doesn't work. Okay, here we go. Spreadsheet. In a way, it's a risk to move from a small town population 100 to a big city metropolitan population 4 million. But in a way, it was very planned. So starting three years ago, when I decided to dissolve my relationship, I, I wanted to change my life totally. And so I looked at places where I might want to live. Okay, so... Here's all these scores and weighting. Here's the weighting, um, how important everything is. And here are some of the factors. Danger of housing crash, average days on market, housing cost, income tax, property tax, climate resiliency, pollution, health care. Um, I already forgot what I was going to tell you about that. Oh, because I want to buy a house. It makes me feel really insecure to rent. And I've had so many problems with landlords. A lot of them are just assholes. They can't help it. They're just... Uh, it's the way they were born. <laughs> anyway, um, so I looked at all these cities in the U.S., and they all got various scores, yellow, green, red, um, and then I started to visit, and I visited 